What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I have a good clip to show you guys today, and we're going back to talk about groceries, self-checkout. You guys know how I feel about that. I, I did a video uh, last month where I talked about the fact that when I was on my way back from Hawaii, they had a kiosk. And this kiosk was, it was like a little, just like a little snack a bar kind of uh, thing where they had drinks and you had snacks. And it was completely self-checkout. There was no one working it at all. It was pretty much like a vending machine, but it was an actual snack bar. Like you could walk up and, and grab snacks and things like that, but you had to check out yourself. So I'm just, I want to show you this clip and the commentator in this clip, I don't entirely agree with what he's saying. And I'll talk a little bit about that, but this is, this is the way that I feel when I go into a grocery store or when I go into a department store and I see these self checkout lanes. Now I want to show you something else at the very end of this video. I'm going to show you a picture and you're not going to believe where this picture was taken. I'll talk a little bit about that at the end of this video. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification and clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC Show Live. Okay, I'm going to be doing a lot more... Uh, showing you a lot more clips and stuff from Twitter and from threads because there, there's a lot of good stuff on there. And sometimes I can't find the original version. In this case, I couldn't find the original version. So I'm going to show you this uh, clip that was a uh, uh, commentators on top of this. So you're going to see the clip and then you're going to hear this commentator talking about it. Like I said, I don't entirely agree with what he is saying and I'll explain that. Uh, but I want to show you the clip because I think it's pretty interesting. Here we go. So this guy goes into Walmart and all the checkout registers are closed. What you're telling me is that the registers close at eight o'clock. Yes. And that uh, you would rather me take all those groceries right there and just leave them in the cart and leave the store than to have somebody ring them out for me. Well, unfortunately at the moment, we only have about, I say, two people let myself check out and the rules are you can't have more people over there. They have a whole line. It'll be too busy. Okay. Well, I'm not going to ring it out. It's not, it's not my job. I, I'm a paying customer. I came here to pay for things, okay. right? But I didn't come here to work. I'm sorry. This is like the most boomer energy ever. The gentleman in the blue vest is not the f***ing messiah of Walmart. He's a cashier. It is not his fault that he has to abide by the store's policy. So there is no reason to film him and blast him all over TikTok like he did something wrong. Okay, so you guys saw the clip. Now, like I said, I don't entirely agree with the, with the commentator. I will agree that, yes, videotaping him, it's not, it, this, this is a store policy, so it's not his fault that he has to bring this, this bad news to this uh, customer. But let's back up and just look at the policy. Look at what they're saying. So after 8 o'clock, they close all of the regular cashiers, and you, they only have self-checkout. So you saw the man's cart. He had a lot of stuff in his cart. It wasn't like you had maybe three or four items and you can easily go through the self-checkout. This was a situation where he had a lot of items. And of course, if I had that many items, I want someone to, I want a cashier. And it, 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 we've gotten to a point now where it's, it's okay for us to go into a store, do our shopping, and then at the very end, work for the store and that's the way i look at it i look at it just like this boomer i mean the, the commentator called him a boomer whatever he is gen x boomer doesn't matter i feel the same way as he does i should not have to work for the store if i'm you know i'm going in there i'm a customer i'm going in i'm picking the items i want the least they can do is check me out and go ahead and bag my groceries that's the least they can do i'm buying their products without me they would not have a store and so it's really sad to say, and, and just listen to the commentator, and I don't know if he's a millennial or what, but you know, he's younger, he sees things differently. And I think the younger generation, they're okay with just going into a store and, and using self-checkout. But for me, I look at it as the store is getting away with not having to hire employees. Now they only need to hire cashiers until eight o'clock. And then after that, it's all self-checkout from there. So the 
consumer will come in and they'll go ahead and do the job that a cashier should be doing. And so that's that's the problem that I have. Now, the other problem that I have, and I've talked about this before, we're, we're seeing a shrinking workforce. We're seeing companies, these large companies, and Walmart is the largest grocery chain in the world. We're seeing them going to almost fully automated systems where they have less and less cashiers. And this is a situation where it's eight o'clock now, like he was saying, after eight o'clock, they don't have cashiers anymore. They'll probably move that down to six o'clock and then move that down to five o'clock. And before you know it, they're not going to have cashiers at all. You're just gonna have a few people that can assist you at self-checkout, but it's only going to be self-checkout. And we know, we know like Kroger's, they're already experimenting on this and they have stores that are completely automated. So they don't have cashiers at all. And so this is this is something that we should be concerned about because for one, we're shrinking our workforce and that hurts when it comes to things like the payroll tax, things like social security benefits, because you're gonna have less people in the workforce. Now I know the argument. The argument is, well, these jobs are gonna be shifted to other jobs, so you're gonna have people who are in sales and people who are in research and development for these new machines. And the reality is the machines really aren't new. All they're doing is modifying the regular cash registers that they already have. They have the same scanner, they have all that stuff. All they're really doing is putting a screen in front of you. And so it, it's it's almost the same as, as a regular cash register. So they're really, there's not that much research and development. So they might need to hire more security. That might be something as far as, as employment. But the reality is you're getting rid of a lot of cashiers. And when you go to the research and development, we don't know where that research and development's coming from. Where are these machines made? Are they all made in the US? I would think that some of them are probably not made in the US. I would think that a lot of the parts for this machine aren't made in the US. So those cashiers are no longer going to be working. And then the people who are working, some of them might not be in the US. So we're still losing because when it comes to the payroll tax, and I keep going back to this because I think this is very important for us to focus on because we know the problems that social security is having right now, the problems with the with them not having enough money and they're pulling from the trust fund. And in 10 years, that money is going to be gone in the trust fund. And then you're going to see a big hit to people receiving social security benefits. And who is this going to impact the most? It's going to impact Gen Xers. It's going to impact boomers that are already receiving social security benefits. They're the ones that are going to take that hit. And so the reality is we're seeing Walmart, we're seeing all these large grocery chains actually move to the self-checkout. And now they're pretty much phasing out cashiers. So if you are a cashier, beware, you could be in a situation where you don't have a job in a couple of years because of the self-checkouts. Now, I wanna show you this picture. And uh, here's the picture here. Very interesting, looks like a regular run-of-the-mill grocery store. I took this photo in Colombia, in Medellin, Colombia. It's a Carugia in, in Medellin, Colombia. It's a grocery chain, and they now have self-checkout. This is the first one that I've seen in Medellin, Colombia. Now I'm sure that there are probably some more in other areas. I talked to a friend who lives in Colombia and she says, yes, she has one in her local grocery store. So you're starting to see them pop up and they've, they've been all over, they're all over the world really. But I didn't think I would see one in Colombia. Colombia, usually they're a little bit behind us when it comes to technology and things like that. So I was pretty shocked to see it. Now you see that it's not as popular as it is out in the US where you see people actually using it. I didn't see anyone using it the time that I was there. And let's just say 15, 20 minutes, I kind of glanced over every once in a while. I never saw anyone using it. I just saw one uh, person there uh, to help people, help assist people with it. But very interesting that you're now seeing these machines all over. So they're, they're, they're here to stay. They're not going anywhere. So I just wanted to bring that little additional information to you guys. If you guys have any questions, post them down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one.